Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest car manufacturers in GTA 5 in terms of lap time. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the best lap time that the fastest vehicle from each manufacturer achieved in the top right, and as the title says, this is cars only, there's no bikes, planes or anything else here. This video only focuses on track performance, so if you're interested in top speed, where braking, cornering and acceleration aren't relevant, check the link in the description for the top speed testing series, and if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all car manufacturers and is correct as of the Los Santos Tuners update. For any vehicles added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get testing results of any new cars a little bit early. So this is going to be the final video in this sort of fastest manufacturers mini series and I figured it was worthwhile doing a final video that just had every manufacturer in and ranked them all from you know bottom to top. But there's lots of ways that I could have done this. We could have taken the average lap time of every car that every that the manufacturer creates but then a single really slow vehicle can really screw over a manufacturer in terms of their overall position. We could then, instead to fix that, just take only the top 10 cars that each manufacturer creates and average that. But many manufacturers make less than 10 cars, with most of them making less than 5. Or maybe we could take the best lap time of the fastest thing that the manufacturer makes, regardless of what it is. But then it's not really a fair comparison if a single manufacturer makes a plane or a chopper to go immediately to the top of the list. Ultimately, I decided to stick with regular raceable cars, so no rocket powered, weaponized or boosted vehicles, which means the best cars from some manufacturers in this video will be different to the other lists we've seen in this mini series in other videos where I did include rocket powered cars. For example, the fastest car for coil in this video is going to be the Cyclone rather than the rocket Voltic as it was in the coil specific video and we'll be ranking the manufacturers based on the lap time of the quickest car that they make. So each manufacturer putting forward their best regular car to do battle with. As usual with this mini series, there aren't any bikes, planes or anything else. So manufacturers that don't make a single normal car aren't gonna be included. This is the final video in this mini series and likely gonna be the last testing video before what will probably be a winter DLC. I'm recording this before anything has been announced with that, but I'm assuming that it's gonna be, we're gonna get a DLC in December. So obviously things may change in future if a manufacturer creates a new quicker car, but as always, you can stay informed of new cars lap times on my channel, stay subscribed and up to date and all that kind of stuff. And if anything is quicker than what you would see here from that manufacturer, then you can just compare the lap times and see where the manufacturer would place with that car instead. Also remember, there is a special unlisted playlist in the description below and in the card on screen right now showing all the videos from this fastest manufacturers mini series if you want to go back and watch them all. So we're seeing the top 50 vehicles in this video starting with the Stanley in 50th place with the Fieldmaster, but there were actually 51 manufacturers in my final list. 51st place however was Jack Sheep with the Lawnmower and I felt that was stretching the definition of a normal car a little bit too much. Although it is raceable, so it's at least worth mentioning. We also had 49th place with Brute, 48th place with Chariot, and 47th place with Joe Built, putting forward their Ambulance, Romero Hearse, and Hall of Custom as their quickest vehicles respectively. Now, these three vehicles aren't actually raceable, but Whilst that's the case, I felt that they are enough of a regular vehicle to be included in this list. All of the cars in this list can be used in normal GTA races and don't have any gimmicks like weapons or rockets, but I just wanted to mention those early outliers to get them out of the way. And explaining all of that has taken us already up to 22nd place with Obey. Uh, to, with and the ATF draft and as you may have been noticing if you've been watching obviously the lap times have been decreasing pretty significantly but we've gotten to a point where the lap times are you know we're kind of in that sports car pace uh, with the 103s and 104s that we've seen 
Dinka obviously in 21st place and Karen in 20th. We had a lot of manufacturers obviously that we've seen. Feel free to go back and watch and, and you know tune out of what I was saying if you really want to see each manufacturer because they do come quick but trying to fit you know 50 separate manufacturers, 50 different vehicles all in one video I had to go quick through the first you know 30 or so. We're going to slow down a little bit now to be able to talk a bit more. So we had Karen and now we've got Ennis in 19th place and then we're straight into 18th place with Weenie utilizing the AC Sport and as you've been seeing probably during the video as well the name of the car that is featured is in the top right hand corner just below the lap time so if you see any manufacturers obviously it's the first time I've really done this in a video where I haven't been putting the car name in the top right so I felt like it was important to put which car is the fastest from that manufacturer that gets the lap time that is being reported in the top right it's obviously 17th place for Fister with a Comet SR sixth best sports car you can see that in the top left as well and then here we are with cyclone in the cyclone in 16th place for coil so, so it, it's a little bit different you know we're, we're ranking manufacturers rather than the cars in this one so a little bit different to get used to but yeah top 15 now with vapid it's no surprise that vapid have sort of made it this high i guess because they do make quite a lot of vehicles as we talked about in the you know the fastest vapid cars video um, and like I said the manuf fastest manufacturers mini series playlist is in the description if you want to go check those out because we've done quite a few of them now and then Emperor in 14th place they do make the vector but the ETR one is still quicker 17th best supercar in the game and then 13th we've got Visa with the Neo the only car that they make and there's quite a few makers as you might have seen in the sort of the early stages maybe a few manufacturers that you sort of didn't even realize were a thing or forgot about there's a lot of manufacturers that only make sort of one two three cars and uh, obviously they're all here anyway but yeah even sort of pegasi here in 12th place obviously it's fastest car from pegasi is the tempesta but they don't make that many cars and then car manufacturers that you think should be making more obviously Princeep with a divestate they don't make very very many cars either they, they do make a few bikes as well but obviously they're not included it's it's kind of strange that so many manufacturers like Lampadati, Grotti, Pegasi, uh, Progen they seem like such important manufacturers but it's more about the quality of the cars that they make I think rather than the quantity because most manufacturers don't make that many cars there's just so many cars in general in the game these days so yeah Lampadati are in the top 10 thanks to the Tigon and then in ninth place we've got Overflood with the Autark and it's only the top nine manufacturers that break the one minute barrier for lap time around the track which is kind of crazy only nine manufacturers out of technically 51 that make four-wheeled vehicles can get a can produce a car that breaks one minute in the lap time uh the lap time barrier so grotty up next in eighth place just slightly ahead of the autark with a 59.7 obviously the quickest sports car in the game in terms of lap time grotty just to say beat over flood for eighth place and then we got trafade just ahead of grotty with another 59 second lap time this time a 59.2 so very very close in this area and you're starting to see sort of the very top end of what vehicles can do uh, at least regular cars and what the best manufacturers are producing so Anas, just to say it doesn't make it into the top five just misses out on a top five spot with a 59.2 again it's just fractionally quicker than the thrax so Anas get the the position over trafade and now we're going to see the big boys, the top five, the five fastest manufacturers in the game. And first up is Jubochi with the Wagner. And this is the final, I guess you could say, regular road car that we're going to see. Obviously with a 59.1, it's just a little bit quicker than the S80 and for a long time was the top supercar, but now it's dropped down into third place for supercars. And it's just, it's still such a quick vehicle and Jubochi, obviously the in-game version of Aston Martin, they, they did a great job with the Wagner and it's still such a great vehicle enough to put them in the top five and the reason that it's the only road going vehicle in the top five is because the top four are all the open wheel cars as we saw with the fastest manufacturers mini series 
any manufacturer that had an open wheel car, the open wheel car was the fastest thing that it made. It kind of makes sense. So Ocelot jumped straight into fourth place. Obviously the top four are all the top four open wheelers as well with the R88 first of all. Then we're going to be seeing D-Class with the uh, DR1. They make a lot of cars, D-Class to be fair. Uh, and most of these open wheel manufacturers do make quite a lot of cars. So it's not a surprise that you know they would be making an open wheel car but obviously the lap times as well have drastically improved we're talking 56 second lap times now when we were just looking at 59 second lap times from the top supercars but our top two manufacturers in the game are arguably some of the most recognizable and important alongside maybe Grotti and Pegasi and they both create the two fastest supercars in the game as well just in the reverse order of what we're going to see here because when it comes to the fastest manufacturers in second place it is the second quickest open wheel car in the game with progen and the pr4 and it's interesting that progen has become obviously such an important manufacturer in the game but it wasn't a manufacturer when the game was first released in 2013. It was actually, I think it was the T20 that was the first progen that was added to the game with a DLC car. And since then, they've, you know, we, we've had other cars that have been uh, that have been made by progen, but it wasn't an original manufacturer. And since then, it's always been a case of quality over quantity with progen, always making really fast cars. And it's no surprise that the in-game version of McLaren is second place or you know it's so high up but ultimately the number one fastest manufacturer in the game is the creator of the br8 benefactor the in-game version of mercedes they make a decent number of cars in gta they, i think they're sort of sixth place uh, for the amount of vehicles that they make so you know they're, they're certainly uh, right up there in terms of influence and, and the amount of vehicles that they've got in the game things like the Feltzer, the Schlager GT, the Shafters, very uh, you know classic vehicles obviously Benefactor has been a manufacturer since the game was first released and they also make the Krieger which is the second place you know the second fastest supercar in the game obviously Progen make the Emirates which is the fastest supercar in the game so even taking out the open wheel cars Benefactor and Progen would still be the number one and the number two and obviously I figured as a comparison I couldn't leave out Jack Sheep entirely so what would be 51st place is obviously the lawnmower and you can see the comparison here we're not going to see the full lawnmower lap because it would just take too long but you can at least see the pace difference from the very fastest manufacturer to the very slowest but yeah they really with the BR8 Benefactor just showed their dominance with a 54 second lap time it's almost a, you know more, more than a second quicker than any of the other open wheel cars and it makes sense that such an influential manufacturer and a manufacturer that makes so many influential cars in the game would come out with one of the t fastest as well you know it makes sense so that's it the fastest manufacturer in gta is benefactor with progen a very close second so like I said, if you want to check out this fastest manufacturers mini series, you want to see the fastest cars that Benefactor make, you want to see the lap times of all the cars that Progen make, those are in their own separate videos that I've been doing over the course of 2021. There is a link in the description. I'll put it in the pinned comment as well to the fastest manufacturers mini series playlist and it will contain all those videos so you can see you know, a wide variety of cars from each manufacturer and, and that also includes you know rocket powered cars and um, boosted vehicles and things like that as well so it's there's a little bit of a difference there and a bit more intre interest too so yeah that's it for the fastest manufacturers mini series it's been fun to do this it's something that i've wanted to do for a while as i said in the original first video of this mini series and i think putting all the manufacturers together with the best that they can offer in one video like this is the perfect way to round it out so as always, thank you guys so much for all the support and I hope you've enjoyed this different way to look at these cars in, the, in terms of their lap times. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed it, found it helpful and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.